Hello, my name is Simrit Alek, and I'm a PharmD candidate in the class of 2022, and today I'll be going over the medication phenofibrate, also known as Tricor. I will give a basic overview of the medication. It is used to help lower lipid levels. The direction is take one tablet by mouth with or without food. Common side effects associated with phenofibrate include abdominal pain, nausea, back aches, and increased liver enzymes. Serious side effects include Steven Johnson syndrome, pancreatitis, injury to the liver, anaphylaxis, rhabdomyolysis, and angioedema. Phenofibrate falls under the class of an antihyperlipidemic. It is a fibric acid. It is FDA approved for hypercholesteremia and mixed dyslipidemia. It has a non-FDA label for hyperlipidemia. Pros versus cons. The pros for phenofibrate is that it has the ability to decrease triglycerides and it modestly can decrease LDL and increase HDL. Cons include its side effect profile and it also has not shown to reduce coronary heart disease, morbidity, and mortality, as well as statins. And it also has drug-drug interactions with commonly used medications such as warfarin, sulfonylureas, statins, colchicine, and immunosuppressants. Mechanism of action. The exact mechanism of action of phenofibrate is not completely understood. However, phenofibric acid the active metabolite of phenofibrate produces reduction in total cholesterol, LDL, apolipoprotein B, total triglycerides, and triglyceride-rich lipoprotein in treated patients. Treatment with phenofibrate also results in an increase in HDL. Phenofibric acid effects have been explained by the activation of peroxisome proliferator-activated receptor alpha. Through this mechanism, phenofibrate increases lipolysis and in elimination of triglyceride-rich particles from plasma by activating lipoprotein lipase and reducing production of an inhibitor of lipoprotein lipase activity, apoprotein C3. The following triglycerides produces an alteration in the composition and size of LDL from dense, small particles to buoyant, large particles. These larger, larger particles are catabolized rapidly due to a greater affinity for cholesterol receptors. An increase in the synthesis of apoproteins A1, A2, and HDL cholesterol also results by activation of PPAR-alpha. Dosage and formulation. Phenofibrate generic comes in an oral capsule dose ranging from 43 milligrams to 200 milligrams. The oral tablet ranges from 40 milligrams to 160 milligrams. Phenoglide comes in an oral tablet with two dosages of 40 milligrams and 120 milligrams. Lipofen comes in an oral capsule with a dosage of 50 milligrams and 150 milligrams. Tricor comes in an oral tablet with a dosage of 48 milligrams and 145 milligrams. Dose recommendations. Dose recommendation for hypercholesteremia, primary or mixed dyslipidemia is initially take 130 milligram capsule by mouth once daily with or without food, max dose being 150 milligrams a day. For the tablet, take 120 milligram once a day max tablet dose of 160 milligrams a day. For hypertriglyceridemia, initially take 43 milligrams, 230 milligrams capsule once daily with or without meal. Adjust if necessary and max dose 150 milligram. For a tablet, initially take 48 to 160 milligram tablet orally once daily with or without food. Max dose is 160 milligrams. 
Dose adjustment. If patient has a creatinine clearance from 30 to 80 mls a minute, initiate treatment at the lowest dose and increase only after evaluation of effects on the renal function and lipid levels. If patient has a creatinine clearance less than 30 mls per minute, it is contraindicated. If patient has an active liver disease, this medication is contraindicated. And if patient is elderly, make sure to look at patient's renal function. Warnings and precautions. This medication is contraindicated in patients with severe renal impairment, patients with liver disease, patients on hemodialysis, patients with gallbladder disease, and nursing mothers. Precautions should be taken in patients who are concurrently using statins and patients with diabetes and hypothyroidism. Monitoring parameters. Lipid levels should be checked periodically. Liver function tests should be done at baseline and periodically throughout therapy. CPK levels should be done in patients with symptoms of myopathy. HDL levels should be checked within the first few months. And renal function tests should be done in patients with renal impairment or in patients at risk for renal insufficiency. A CBC should be done periodically during the first 12 months. Here are the references used in this presentation. Thank you for watching and have a great day.